power wash it the other day, but now I'm going to go ahead and start the painting process. You can see it's a pretty good project, but not a problem as long as you use the right paint and you take your time and you work the paint in the mortar joints. Everything just goes just smooth as silk. Okay, when painting a house, a brick home, this is the first thing that I'll do. Cut around all the windows, cut around down below and at the top. And then once I get a pretty good section cut in, then I'll come back in and roll. yesterday on the front wall here front of the house cut in the second time then I'll roll the second time uh, sometimes that's enough the color of this house the brick was pretty dark it may take three coats at least it looks like maybe on the cutting it's gonna take three maybe the rolling the roller puts it on a little bit thicker so I don't know it's gonna be hard to tell the only way you can tell is let it dry for a day or two and come back and look at it What you want to do is you want to work that paint in especially especially these joints right here you want to work the paint in the joint that's where it needs to get absorbed work it in there really good like that and then you can come back and then you just coat your brick like this joint here and I usually come down probably probably from here to here about that much on my cut in coming down and then my roller will take care of everything else use a big thick roller inch inch and a half nap on it but you can see I've got everything taped off that's how the worst done. thing about painting outside is the dang spiders that fall down. It's spiders that fall down out of the soffit, out of the gutters. They get on you. And once while you get bit. Working it in there. Working it in there. want to use a big old heavy inch to inch and a quarter inch nap roller works the best on brick First coat of paint on the shutters. The front of the home has two coats on it using the uh, bare marquee exterior for the shutters. Put the second coat on the side of the building this morning. Masonary stucco by Bayer for the shutters. Uh, bare marquee the shutters.
it probably took a couple hours to roll it, maybe an hour and a half, a little bit more, another two hours or so to cut it in. And that's just the first coat, so I've got to give it, give it another coat. Whenever you actually paint a brick house, your main concerns are these joints right here because they're made of sand and mortar. That's where it's really gonna suck up the paint. If you went with a 3 8 roller, 3 8 nap roller and tried to just roll it, you'd end up with a product like this. But it'll look like that right there. Now when you used a thicker roller, which I'm using, which is an inch and a quarter, you basically, it'll get down in those joints right there. But on your corners and all your cut in, you know, all the way up and all the way down, I would use a brush and I just really brush those joints in good. And then I'll just paint the brick and then go on to the next section, next section. You know, I usually do maybe two bricks at a time. So this might be a cut in area, cut in area, cut in area, something like that right there. You know, you gotta, you got to cut around it and you also got to be extremely careful you don't want to touch those wires get your ladder into those wires or anything like that so i don't uh, i don't like doing walls like that but it's just part of the project so uh just got to be careful when you do it Second coats are important. Make sure you get everything covered real nice. see results are very very nice air masonry paint primer in it self priming and as long as you power wash and get your walls washed down it really leaves a nice surface on it. put a couple coats of marquee bear marquee exterior on it and uh, you can see the results are very nice the bear masonry paint it's got the satin finish to it and you can kind of see with the Sun hitting it just right you know, you have just a little bit of a shine. It's kind of nice because it'll be easy to wash. Take a hose and spray it off. It just looks beautiful. There's another example of that real nice finish. And then we pull off and you can see the marquee on the shutters. And what a nice combination that makes. Something I like to do on the uh, circles, the way the guys, uh, the masons back then, they would uh, take the bricks and they would actually go around and encase the vent. It looks really nice. So I found out years ago, and you'll see this on historic buildings, they painted an offset color, complement color. And you can see it turns out pretty nice. That is gorgeous right there. Any comments on how to paint a brick house? I've got a lot of instructions on this video. You can leave something in the comment if you have any questions. I appreciate you checking in.